All of us have improvised at some point or another in the wilderness. Maybe you don't have a tarp with you, maybe you left your guy lines at home, or maybe what you have is a tarp that doesn't have any grommets for you to connect your guy lines to, or you left the tent pegs behind. In this video, I'm going to troubleshoot a couple of these problems and see how we can overcome them when setting up shelters in the wilderness. I'm Clarice, welcome to the Live Ready channel. So first things first, we need some or the other covering if we're going to try and set up a shelter. And what I've got with me is a poncho. And this is not a military issue poncho. It's not something that's got grommets that you can tie guy lines to, and it's not something that was meant to be set up as a shelter. The reason why I'm using this is because a lot of people might carry something like this. So it is something that can be used to improvise and something that we can build a shelter out of. So like I said, this is a plain and simple poncho comes from the pharmacy or one that you even buy just from an outdoor store. There are no grommets on here so there's nothing for me to tie a guy line onto. And then of course we have to contend with the hood at the top that is basically a hole that the water can actually get through. Um, so easy enough to solve that we just tie that into a knot um, and I've done this before when I've actually been out in the bush filming a video and suddenly there's rain when there wasn't any rain forecast um, and what I've done is I've literally just tied this into a knot. You can use a string or a rope or if you've got a spare guy line just to close off that top two. Now the second problem that i am presented with here, if I want to set this up as a shelter, um, is that there's nothing for me to tie a guy line to. All you do is you use a little stone, something like this, and river stones are great because they've been tumbled to the point where there aren't any sharp edges on them. And what you can do is just place your river stone inside your top, fold it over and tie a little slip knot around that. The other option that you've got is to use a toggle. And how you use the toggle is similar to the stone. You literally just fold the toggle into the top and then once again, use your slip knot to clinch there. Um, I would let the corners come out of the top so that there's nothing that can pierce your top accidentally and nothing that's sharp inside your top. For our purposes, I think today we're going to use a stone. I do think that it works a little bit better than the toggles do, but I have found myself in a forest before where there are no stones. And so um, you would, in that scenario, have to make use of a toggle. Um, but before I get to the stone, I'm going to actually prepare my line. Now, what happens if you don't have guy lines and you need to improvise guy lines? Well, you can use whatever paracord you've got or you can harvest some strings out of your clothing. Something like the string that you use to tie your pants with or a shoelace. Um, but if we don't have an actual guy line, we're not gonna have a tensioner, but we'll get to that in a moment. Okay, so to prepare my guy line to tie the stone into my top, I'm simply going to fold it double. I'm gonna tie a little loop into it. Okay leaving myself quite a lot of room with which to work. Now I'm going to put my standing end through my working end here and make another loop. So you see now that will tension and a nice little slip knot around my stone. I can just slip my guy line, improvised guy line, around the stone and pull taut, making sure that that is clenched properly there. Now considering that there isn't a tensioner on this guy line, um, it's basically just a length of rope, um, what I want to do is I want to create something that I can tension um, in order to make my top really taut so that no water accumulates on my top. I'm going to go around the branch. Now I'm going to do a figure four knot and I make a little figure four over there. Um, and I'm going to pass my line through the four twice and then you guessed it, an event hitch, one of my favorites. So basically what I do, there's my two loops through the line. I'm going to run this around my fingers and bring it up over the other side. I like to just grab it over there and pull through. I like to leave a slip in there 
um, because then it's easy for me to take it apart and then I just put a toggle in it. You can use any little stick or branch. It just makes it easy for you to undo it and it's easy then to spot your lines as well. Now what this does is it allows me to put tension on my line by moving my knot down what is then going to be my guy line. So that is how you can improvise a tensioner on your guy line. Right, so that is one side of my top set up. Same thing goes for the other side. Pull taut. Once I've got it around a branch, I want to do a figure four knot. Through once, through twice, and even catch over that. Toggle in the hitch. Now let's say for interest sake I've now completely run out of cord, I don't have any rope anymore. How do I now get my top into the ground here? Well first of all I've got the option of burying it. I can actually dig a hole, um, put a nice big stone in it and then plant it or bury it in the ground with the stone um, and then hope that the wind doesn't pull it out. The other thing that I can do is I can make a tent peg such as this one and I've made a video on tent pegs before. I've also made a video on how to make toggles before. You can go check those out. This is nice and easy to do. So now I've got a really nice stake that I can put in the ground here but I've still got the issue of how am I going to connect the top um, to my tent peg now. Um, I can try and tie it around the tent peg. It's going to use a lot of the fabric um, from this top so I'm not actually going to um, have a lot of material left or I can pick something smaller like a carabiner um, and the carabiner because it is so narrow over there is not going to actually use a lot of the fabric so now all I do is I make a knot around the carabiner and if you do have some small length of cordage you can actually still use that short length of cordage to just secure this nicely here. Now I have got my top connected to a carabiner. I've got to bring my tent peg in quite close and um, I'm just going to hammer it in with my hatchet. That's nice and sturdy. Now my carabiner will simply fit over my tent peg and once it gets into that pot hanger notch that I've made there it will stay. Now that I've got one corner of my top or of my poncho in this instance um, in the ground and it's quite sturdy, even the wind's not going to wiggle that out, I can worry about the other corner now. To solve the problem relatively efficiently, I am going to actually use a tent peg on this side. And I like to measure them out, pull them quite tall, doesn't have to be super taut. And the soil is nice and soft here. So I've got that in there now. So even if I don't have a guy line, I can still improvise using some other things in my bag um, in order to connect my top to my tent peg. So I want to now tension my line. So here, I can now come to my figure four knot and just tension that line until my top is beautifully taut. Now what I can do if I've got one more guy line is I can tie it onto the hood here, lift it up and tie it to one of the branches above me so that I've got a bit more room underneath and all of the water that lands on my top just bounces off. There are a couple more ways that I could have set this top up. I could have made a small A-frame shelter out of it. I could have put it sideways so that I've got a space under which I can sleep. Um, setting it up in this way so that it is lengthways facing upwards um, means that I need to sleep longitudinally underneath my top here instead of sideways the way I would usually sleep under a top. But if you're just building a shelter because you got caught in the rain and you just want to wait out the worst of the weather, um, then you'll probably just want to sit underneath your shelter with your gear. So then this is a great setup for you. Um, but you can modify this depending on the circumstances that you find yourself in and what your needs are. Well that's it guys, how to improvise if you don't have a top, you don't have guy lines, no tent pegs, no grommets. Let me know if you've got some more cool ideas in the comments and until the next time, live ready. Mm -hmm.